Hello, welcome to Home Tech Adventure. Today we're going to be talking about computer sound. We're going to focus on sound from speakers this time. Uh, sound from headphones maybe I'll do later. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see that or gaming headsets like with a microphone. Uh, but right now we're going to be focusing on just the computer sound from speakers. Now there are some things that you can do to improve the sound for free. There are some things you can do that don't cost a whole lot of extra money and it will improve the sound quite a bit on some systems. And then there are some really expensive options where you can really improve the sound uh, coming from your computer. And we're going to talk about that today. Today's kind of an overview. But let's first look at what computer sound is all about. You see, most people think they just plug this in and, uh, you know, for speakers, external speakers, and that's all you do. There's a little more to it. So let me just quick show you a little bit about what computer sound is all about. Most people don't think much about computer speakers. You connect to the green audio jack in the back of your computer, it goes to the speakers and they make sound. But there's more going on there and that more going on part is where you can improve the sound, at least with the hardware side of things. You see, really what happens is you have to go through a digital to analog converter because a computer does uh, digital things and the speakers are analog and you have to convert between the two. So you go to digital to analog converter, we just call that a DAC for short, and then you go to a preamplifier, which usually has a volume control. That's what the preamplifier does, it controls volume and, and amplifies a very low signal. We just call that a preamp for short. Then we go to a power amplifier that produces enough power to power the speakers, and we shorten that to amp, and then you connect to the speakers. So DAC, preamp, and amp. These can be all separate in a very high-end setup. Now on a typical computer with computer speakers, you got the DAC built into the computer. That's why the green jack in the back of the computer, it puts out an analog signal. And then you connect to the preamp and amp uh, that's built into the speakers and that produces the sound. The preamp and amp together make an integrated amp. That's, that's the term we normally use when the preamp and amp are in one box. Um, call an integrated amp. So your speakers have an integrated amp built in on a lot of computer speakers. There are other possibilities. One higher end setup is to have the DAC and preamp in one box, an amp in another box, and then separate speakers, usually higher end speakers. So that's one way you can go about it. You're going to see a setup a little bit later on that I have with the DAC, preamp, and amp all built into the same thing. And then it goes to the speakers. That means this is an integrated amp with DAC. That's generally what we say. Other setups, high-end systems, a lot of times use a totally separate DAC, and then a preamp amp together would be an integrated amp or separate ones for a very high-end system. But that's some different options. Let's go back and start listening to some sound. Now that you know a little bit about the computer sound, let's get into how you improve it. Now, we're going to listen to some sound files, and I apologize, it's going to be a little tedious, but you know, to, to be able to tell the difference in sound, you got to listen, and you got to listen carefully, so a little patience is needed in this video here. Okay, we're going to start off by showing you the sounds that we're going to use. We're going to use two songs. Uh, one is called Big Blues, and the other is called Cancun, and both are from the YouTube music library that it's available for creators. And then the uh, third thing is a bass drop from 120 hertz down to 20 hertz. And that one I created myself in Audacity, by the way. Um, and we're going to listen to those three files. It takes about 30 seconds total to listen to all three files. Now, I'm going to play it first just uh, by pasting the music into my editing software. And that will be the best sound that you can possibly get out of your speakers or headphones that you're listening to through, uh, you know, for this YouTube video. And then we'll play sound that's recorded through my little sound recorder and uh, see what it's, the difference in the sound is. And I think you're going to hear a big difference. The closer we can get to the sound that's actually coming out from this one we're going to play right now, the, the actual sound files played, through the YouTube video, that's gonna be the best that you can get. The recorded sounds will be not as good, but as close as we can get to the sound that you hear right now. So let's play these two. Now I'm gonna 
play it on the laptop here, but you're not going to be listening through my microphone from the laptop. You're going to be listening to the sound that I pasted into the video. So you're going to get the best sound possible with these two files. So let's play these two files and let you hear. And then let's pay, play the bass drop here. Here's the bass drop. Okay, so that's what it sounds like on your speakers with the best it can possibly get. Now let's hear those again. And this time I will play the recorded version. I'll splice in the recorded version recorded from my sound recorder so that you can actually hear. And when I did this, I, I held it up in a good position, um, you know, and sitting back, but I need to be on the video here. Uh, but anyway, let's play it with the default settings that the laptop came with for the sound. This laptop has a Bang & Olufsen sound system. Now, Bang & Olufsen is a high-end uh, sound uh, company. It does engineering and sound design and actually produces products and they know a lot about sound, but there's only so much you can do with a teeny tiny laptop speaker, and this isn't a real expensive laptop, but let's listen and hear what those two fi files sound like with the default settings. Here we go. Bass drop. Not going to hear much here. That was it. Believe it or not, that was the bass drop. These speakers have virtually no bass, so you don't hear much out of those things. But let's see if we can improve this. Now, uh, keep in mind that uh, this laptop shipped in this configuration but it's not too hard to improve it. So let, let me show you how to improve the sound. So what we wanna do here is we wanna improve the sound. Now there's two ways you can get to the sound settings. You can type in sound here, and that will get up the sound settings usually uh, in a fairly quick order. So let's get rid of that. There's a quicker way to do that though. The way I prefer to do it generally is to just right click on your little volume knob there, little speaker thing and just click sound settings. You can see we got speaker headphones and Realtek Audio, that's the built-in thing. Device properties is what we want to click and then additional device properties down here on this unit and we go up here to additional device properties. We want the advanced tab and we want to uncheck enable audio enhancements. This is really important and you'll hear the difference in sound I think. Even with this uh, low quality speakers that come with this. We're going to click OK and then we're going to close this. Now that we've changed those sound settings, let's listen to the sound again through the same speakers, same laptop. I'm not, I don't have the external speakers connected. Let's listen. Let's see if you can hear a difference. Still not much sound from the bass drop is there. The little speakers just can't do anything below 120 hertz. Probably end up probably 150 hertz about where they bottom out. Hopefully you heard a difference on those two with the enhanced and unenhanced speakers. Let me remove the enhancement again because we're going to connect these external speakers but I want you to see that it makes a difference even with these external speakers. 
on whether or not you have the enhancement or not. So I'm going to remove the enhancement again. There we go. Okay, so the enhancement is removed. Let's hear what it sounds like with these external speakers. Let me plug these in. Oops, that's not the right one. That's the right one. Okay, so we got the external speakers plugged in. And again, I'm going to play this through, uh, I'm going to play the ones I recorded earlier on my recording device because this microphone won't, won't uh, get much difference in sound. So let's see what this sounds like. Now for the bass drop. Yeah, that was a difference, wasn't it? You can actually hear the bass drop, at least some of it, uh, whereas with the internal speakers you couldn't hear anything at all. It's because we got bigger speaker diaphragms here, a little bit better sound. What will this sound like with the enhancement off? I've just turned the enhancement off, so let's see what it sounds like without the enhancement. Let's hear the bass drop. Yeah, again, you could actually hear that. Um, I hope you heard there was a difference, and uh, honestly, it's night and day. The sound through without the enhancement is much better again. So turn that enhancement off. I don't know why they do that. I don't know what it enhances, uh, but uh, yeah, turn that thing off. It's really bad. Now, can we do even better? We got $20 speakers here. Can we do better with these $20 speakers? And the answer is yes. What I have here is called a Behringer UCA202, and it's an external DAC. And this can improve our sound, believe it or not. It has a headphone output here, and that's what we're gonna be using. Um, later on, we'll connect to these RCA outputs, which should be even better quality. Um, but yeah, this thing's pretty cheap under $30. By the way, they sell us on Amazon for like $90. Do not buy it for that. Uh, I got a couple links in the description where you can get it for under $30. Um, or if you have a uh, music and recording store in your area, you know, any place that sells like guitars and amps and stuff like that, honestly, they probably have this. And if they don't, they can probably order it. Uh, so, you know, you could look at your local store uh, and get one of these uh, Behringer UCA 202s. But let's see what it does to the sound. Let's reconnect um, this comes with a USB in, uh, output. So let's disconnect the speakers here. Oh, let me turn the sound down so I don't destroy things. Let's disconnect the speakers here and put it in here. And I'm gonna leave the enhancement off. I think I've proven to you that enhancement on is, is horrible. Uh, we don't want enhancement on. So we're gonna leave the enhancement turned off um, for this. And we're gonna plug this into the headphone output for the speakers. And this is an adjustable volume on these headphones. You probably want it about midway. Uh, you don't want to overpower it. You don't want to crank it up all the way because that's going to distort. But about midway. And let's see if you hear the difference then with the speakers through the Behringer UCA202. Um, let me play that for you. Let's start with these songs. drop. Still not a lot of sound out of the bass drop, but we got something out of there. Um, but 
anyway, I hope you heard the difference. It's a much better balance in the sound, a uh, little bit more bass. Now I did pick these particular songs because they're heavy on the bass, and bass is really hard for little computer speakers to produce. There's a whole lot more to sound than just the bass, uh, but it, at least you can, I'm, hopefully, I'm hoping that you can hear the difference in these sound. Let me know in the comments if you heard a difference. Uh, now, we're gonna go over to my editing computer with some bigger speakers, more expensive speakers. I think I paid about $80 for them or something like that. Uh, these ones were $20 ones. Let's see what those speakers sound like. I've switched sides of the room now and we're in front of the editing computer. Now, we're gonna listen through these bigger speakers. They're Behringer MS-16 speakers, the much more powerful speakers. Um, but you're gonna probably hear the difference. Not necessarily, it depends on what you're listening to. Uh, I did play it through the green jack in the back connected through an audio cable, um, and I listened through the Behringer UCA202. There is a difference, very, very slight difference, so slight that when I listened to the recordings, I couldn't tell the difference on the recordings. So it, there is a difference, not much of one, because ASRock did a real good job um, this is an ASRock Tai Chi X370 motherboard. They did a really good job on the sound section. So if you have a motherboard of that quality, you might not have to buy an external sound option for that. You might get pretty good sound from it. You can still get better with the external thing, uh, but you wouldn't have to. It's still pretty good. Now, this one I did, like I said before, I connected this one because the speakers are capable of it. I connected through the RCA cables, and they, the RCA cables just plug into the thing. And in this case, you want to turn the volume all the way down on the headphone output uh, so that it's not trying to do two things at once. It shouldn't, but uh, you never know. And so you want to just turn the volume on the headphones all the way down when you're using the RCA things. Uh, so. And unless you're monitoring, yeah, long story, there's a lot more to that. Okay, but anyway, let's listen and let's see what it sounds like through these speakers. Again, recorded through my audio recorder, not through this microphone. Let's listen and see what that sounds like. Now for the bass drop. Quite a bit more on the bass drop, isn't there? I hope you heard the difference on there. It, it's, it's really hard sometimes to get it through YouTube uh, because YouTube compresses the audio in the audio stream and, and then you know puts out the video. Uh, so it's hard to kind of hear the difference. Uh, there is a difference, much big, dif big difference between the little $20 speakers and these speakers, uh, but you know you might not hear the difference through the YouTube video. Hope you did hear the difference. Let me know in the comments if you did hear the difference. Also, let me know in the comments what type of speakers and setup that you would like me to test or uh, some ideas because I might be able to do some of those testing and might be able to give my opinion on some of the speakers that are out there. Let's go to a much, much more expensive setup that I have down with my uh, home theater. Uh, it's my entertainment system. Normally I have a Hackintosh hooked up there, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take my editing computer and hook the editing computer up for consistency uh, because the computer I normally have down there is a Hackintosh and uh, it doesn't match with what we're doing here. So um, let's connect that up. Oh, by the way, uh, the audio enhancement on this was completely turned off. Yeah, we've decided long ago that audio enhancement's a bunch of garbage. So you just turn that off and, and leave it off. Don't, don't turn that on. So let's go downstairs and look at a much more expensive setup and see what it sounds like there. I'm now down here in the living room and we have my audio setup. We have uh, two Dyne Audio speakers. They're Audience 52 SE if you want to know. They're, they're fairly old, but they're still workable. They, they sound pretty good. Um, and then the amplifier is a Bel Canto E1, uh, oh gosh, I don't know. I can't remember exactly. I'll put it down in the description, but it's a Bel Canto uh, integrated amplifier with DAC. And we are connecting to that integrated amplifier with an optical connection. Now, I didn't connect through the UCA202. It is possible to do that. 
but I have listened before on another system and the UCA202 DAC isn't all that good. It's better than what we had upstairs on the laptop, but compared to the one in the uh, integrated amplifier here that's much more expensive, um, yeah, it's not even close to the same quality. So we're just gonna connect it through the optical cable and just kind of give you an idea of what you can hear from your computer system if you get a good uh, connection. Now the optical connection, it's similar to a cable like this. Okay, it's called a Toslink optical and uh, it's good because it's, uh, it usually reduces the noise that comes out um, and you get just a pure digital signal and therefore we will use the DAC in the integrated amplifier that I have there. That's a much better quality DAC than probably even is included with the um, motherboard that I have in that editing computer. By the way, the uh, computer behind it, that's my uh, normal home theater computer, which will get replaced soon. Um, probably a build there sometime later. Let me know, uh, you know your ideas on a home theater build, but uh, it's gonna be what I want. But let me know if you, if you have any ideas on what you want for the home theater computer build, because that, that's coming in the future, uh, sometime later on. But anyway, um, let me go over to the couch here, and we're going to listen to the music, because the couch has the keyboard and the mouse uh, that I need to uh, uh, start this stuff. Well, actually, I could, I could bring the mouse over here um, and uh, use it on my, my uh, thing, my uh, knee here. That actually does work. So um, anyway, let me uh, play it for you. And again, I'm going to record this separately and I'll, I'll splice in the recorded uh, sound from that. I have the volume turned up fairly high um, so that the bass comes out through the recording. This recording should be a lot closer to what you heard on the original file at the very beginning of this video. So anyway, let's play this. This is the two songs. So let's play the two song clip. Let's uh, play the bass drop now. We'll turn it up even a little bit more for the bass drop when I, I play it. So anyway, let's play the bass drop here. Depending on what speakers you were listening through, you might have actually heard it all the way down to 20 hertz. It, these speakers don't have a great thing down to 20 hertz, they actually top down at about 45 hertz, which is actually really good. And uh, in the room here, they go lower than that, and you can hear some 20 hertz stuff. It's not great, but you can hear some of it. By the way, I don't have a subwoofer attached, that's just these little teeny speakers here. Uh, but they're much, much higher quality. Uh, give you an idea, the speakers I think originally were about $1,300, $1,400, uh, probably about 15 years ago when they came out. Um, I bought them used for like $900 or something like that. The amplifier is about $2,000, uh, so it's a much, much more expensive system that we have here set up, so you, you expect better sound out of that. Um, but, you know, extra money doesn't always get you better sound, but um, this is definitely better than that. Uh, let me know what you want uh, for uh, other sound videos. I hope this was informative. Hopefully you heard some difference on that. Let me know in the comments and please uh, like and subscribe if you wanna hear more of these videos uh, or see more of these videos. Um, it's, it's kind of fun for me to produce these videos. It takes a lot of work, but yeah, let me know in the comments uh, what you'd like to see. Subscribe and uh, let's, let's get a discussion going on computer audio. We will see you next time and remember always have fun on your own home tech adventure.